Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for another awesome WWE Supercard Season 5 video. My name is Nawology and I hope you all are having an awesome day so far and it won't be too much longer until I'm saying welcome back to the channel for another Season 6 video and boy oh boy do I really like how that sounds. I cannot wait for season six of Supercard, and a lot of you guys have been asking me, Newology, when is season six going to drop for WWE Supercard? And from what I'm hearing from a lot of people, a lot of my subscribers, they are saying that the new season will be dropping on November 13th, and that sounds pretty reasonable to me because we usually do get the new seasons of Supercard in the middle of November, and the 13th is pretty much the middle of November. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say November 13th if I had to take a guess and go with what my subscribers are saying. But let me know when you think the official drop date is going to be. They didn't announce it yet, at least not as of the time of me recording this video, which is currently November 1st. I have been pre-recording a lot of my videos in advance just because I've been trying to get a lot of content ready for November because I know this month is going to be so big and so busy for me and I'm just trying to get as ready and as prepared for this month as possible. That's why I've just been pre-recording a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but anyways guys, in this video, I am going to be grabbing the Last Man Standing Undertaker card from Last Man Standing, of course, and that's going to be awesome. You guys will see what rank I get. The rank you guys see now is not going to be the permanent rank or the final rank that I get, because as you guys see, uh, there's still two days and five hours of this left at the time of me recording, but you know, we'll fast forward to the end when I'm actually claiming it and we'll see what I actually got as far as my rank goes, you know, we'll get the card leveled up and all that usual stuff I do when I claim a last man standing card. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to be happening here in the video. I also have one final Halloween fusion to claim for you guys too, one that I've been holding on to. Let's check it out. So yeah, guys, one final reanimator fusion pack I have, you know, just ready to go. So I'm going to claim that in this video. And I also have a Cataclysm Fusion to claim for you guys here in this video too. It's going to be pretty awesome. And one final thing, something I want to talk about here because we didn't hear anything about this yet. And he's been in the catalog for so long. And I did talk about this card before in a different video. But since we're approaching Season 6, it makes me wonder what are they going to do with this card? Is it going to be the final event card for Season 5? Is it going to be a card that comes out with maybe, maybe they're going to come out with a newer special edition of 2K20 kind? of like they did with 2k18 i think it was when they released like the wrestlemania edition uh, but anyways guys we have this walter card sitting here and i'm thinking he could perhaps be the final event card for season five i'm not 100 percent sure about that or like i said he could possibly be a special card that maybe comes with uh, an updated special edition of 2k20 if they decide to do that like they did with 2k18 for the wrestlemania edition but uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. I just wanted to bring this back up because like we haven't heard anything about it yet and we're about to approach season six. So uh, I'm hoping we hear something about this soon. I'm thinking though, it's going to be the last event card if I had to take a guess, but I could be wrong. I'm not really too sure. Let me know what you guys think could be going on here with this Walter 2K20 card because I would love to know. Uh, but anyways, guys, with that being done and talked about, before I jump into the rest of this video, make sure if you do go on to enjoy what you see in this video to smash the like button as hard as you physically could with your favorite finishing maneuver. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would really mean a lot to me because I am on the road to 20,000 subscribers and I would love to hit that sometime very soon. So please subscribe and please turn on the post notification bell as well. So this way you always get noticed notified of when I post more awesome Supercard videos just like this. I'm going to keep you guys up to date with the latest and greatest uh, Season 6 news for Supercard. And also when Season 6 arrives, there is going to be lots of Season 6 content to cover, lots of packs to open, and you guys are not going to want to miss out on all that stuff. So please subscribe and please turn on the bell. Help me get to 20,000 subscribers. But anyways, guys, with this all being said now, the first things I want to dive into doing here, of course, is claiming my two fusions. And I guess we'll start this off with a reanimator fusion pack and this is my final chance to get a halloween pro here if i don't get a pro from this well that's it i didn't get any halloween pros uh if i don't get one here today from this final reanimator fusion pack which is quite disappointing considering there wasn't too many cards so it should have been you would think easy to get a pro, but no, this Halloween Fusion was actually quite difficult to even get Halloween Superstar cards, but 
Anyways, guys, let's dive into this. Let's see what I get. Come on, baby. Give me a pro. Let's see if it happens here in three, two, one. Oh, 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 it does happen. Oh, my goodness. Yes, finally. Oh, my goodness. On the final pack, I get a Halloween pro. I'm so excited. I hope it's Alexa Bliss. That would be really cool. Let's find out if it is. Oh, it's Pete Dunn. Hey, whatever. I don't care. It's a Halloween pro. That is still good in my books. So let me know what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know how the Halloween Fusion promotion went for you guys. Did you get any pros? And if you did, how many did you get? Personally, I was not a big fan of this Halloween promotion just because it was so hard to actually get Halloween superstars uh, as compared to the promotion of like the Boardwalk Brawl. Uh, you were getting freaking summer cards left and right, pros left and right. I think the Boardwalk Brawl promotion was probably the best promotion that we had here in Supercard just because it seems like they were handing out summer cards and pros left and right. Where with this one, you were lucky to even get a Halloween Superstar card most of the time, you know? But uh, anyways, guys, with that being done and uh, out of the way, let's move into the next fusion that I have, of course, and that is the Cataclysm fusion. Um, you know, just trying to rack up my fusions so that this way, when they release the new fusions for Season 6, I'll have a really good head start and I can just start banging out some new fusions and stuff. So, yeah, let's see what I get here from this Cataclysm fusion. Will be somebody cool? Let's find out. Oh, it's Rhea Ripley. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I don't think I had her before. So, yeah, guys, Rhea Ripley, not a bad fusion whatsoever. Would that be a pro for you? Let me know. But, uh, yeah, guys, with those being done and out of the way now, let's dive into playing LMS a little bit here. And, uh, yeah, then I'll get into claiming the Undertaker card. But, yeah, still two days to go here for me at the time of recording, uh, you know, this video. And I'm hoping to get a pretty decent rank from this. At the start of this event, it was actually pretty hard. I started playing this at 3 in the morning when the events usually start for me. And it seems like a lot of people were up and playing at that time. And I'm like, holy cow, like what is going on right now? My rank was dropping like left and right along with my girlfriends. Um, but then after that, it seemed like people kind of just stopped playing a lot more. So that was kind of helpful, you know. And uh, I really haven't been playing this too much. I've been taking uh, like long breaks from this. And uh, I'm really not dropping too much. So uh, I think I'm going to get a pretty decent rank. But if I get the card, that's all that matters to me. Even if I get like the 9,999th spot, you know, I don't really care. As long as I get my hands on this card, uh, it's still going to help. It's still going to be a cool image to have, you know. I don't really care what rank I get, though, because it's the end of the season. And really, these SummerSlam 19 cards are not going to mean too much to us very soon once Season 6 actually does drop because with three new tiers added to the game, you guys know how that goes. It is so freaking uh, difficult to progress, so difficult to get through the events and stuff. I probably won't be getting event cards for a while when uh, Season 6 drops just because of the three new tiers, you know. It is just so hard to catch up, and I'm not really one of those people that buys packs. Like, I know there's players and YouTubers out there that buys a crap ton of packs until they get their way up to the top tier, but personally, I don't have the money for that, and I'm not one of those guys to just buy my way to the top. So for me, it's going to be a big grind for me, and uh, it's going to be just a lot on me, and I just don't plan on getting event cards anytime soon in season six but we'll see what happens maybe it will be easier to get the event cards in season six who knows uh, it does seem like they are doing a lot of changes come season six so maybe they'll make it easier to get the event cards and maybe i'll actually be able to get them easier even with three brand new tiers being added to the game we will see though all right here are three more games ladies and gents and that will wrap it up and we'll get into claiming that undertaker card which i'm so excited about i cannot wait to get into claiming them it's going to be really awesome uh, okay, there's that one, and let's get ready to wrap this up here in a moment, guys. Two more. All right, toughness match, Big E, because it's a new day. Yes, it is. All right, big ending there, beautiful. All right, so here we go, ladies and gents. Let's close this arena with Carmella and Becky Lynch. And uh, we'll see our new rank here, too, after this. We'll see where it puts us after this. But like I said, this isn't going to be my final rank anyways, but... All right, so we ended there with 7,135 points. Not bad at all. All right, guys, let's uh, claim this pack. 
All right, and let's see what our new rank is. All right, 5,627. All right, guys, so I'm going to fast forward here now. I'll be right back, and we will get this Undertaker card. All right, guys, so it is two days later, and it's time to get the Undertaker card. And as you guys can see, my rank is a lot better than what you guys have previously seen. I ended at 3,541. Not bad at all. Better than what I was even expecting. I thought maybe I still would have ended off in the 5,000s. But no, I ended up uh, scoring a 3,000 some rank, so that's pretty good here. So let's get into claiming this. We'll get the card leveled up, you know, like I said earlier, and all that usual stuff I do. I don't know why it's so slow going into rewards. All right, last man standing. All right, and I uh, scored 324,117 points. Let's claim this thing up. All right, and there it is. Let's get them locked and loaded. Not really loaded, but let's get them locked. <laughs> Alright, filters, general, SummerSlam 19. Alright, let's find this bad boy now. He's probably somewhere down here. As you know, he's not leveled up. Yep, there he is. Alright, improve, train, filters, and we'll get rid of all this stuff. See how far this gets him. Okay, so actually he's done now, so that's good. That completely leveled him up. Awesome. Alright guys, and that's that. So this is the Undertaker stats without his matches played. What do you think guys? Not a bad card at all. Let me know if you got the Undertaker. Let me know what rank you got. And let me know what the stats go up to and stuff for your Undertaker card by commenting down below but yeah guys that's gonna do it here for the video thanks for watching remember to like subscribe turn on the bell and i'll see you next time